hello everybody so today is may the 15th it's about 9 20 or 9 30 p.m um i was actually off today so i kind of just rested y'all i laid around um ran some errands but at any way let's get to the point of the video um so today i am just going to be talking about um my home buying um process or experience so far as a travel nurse um let me just preface with the fact that i've only been a travel nurse since um december 2021 so i took my state boards um december the 21st i got the good pop-up if you're lpn or lvn or rn you know if you know you know um I got the good pop up that same day, but I actually received my results that I had passed the very next day. Um, and then my name and my license number was on the state board of nursing within that week. Um, so at any rate, I have been a nurse since then. So if you do the math, um, I actually started working as an LPN January. So I've been working since January, 2022 and May. So I haven't even been actually a nurse for a full uh, one year, six months, just a one year, five and a half months, if you will. At any rate, um, I've been wanting to purchase a home. So I've never purchased a home before. I'm 39, um, not married, don't have any children as of yet, um, but I'm believing God anyway. That's another story for another day. Um, but I've always just wanted to purchase a home. I've been renting my current home for about six or seven Seven years um, and I just honestly y'all I just never thought on my own that I would be able to do it but God does all things well all right so um, last month April um, well, well let me actually um, rewind a little bit further so I um, once I started working you know and actually making really good money because as you know as a travel nurse um, you do make good money you know you make your you make a we make a pretty high hourly wage but it is that out of town stipend um that you get that tax free money that you get just because you're working over 50 miles um some places over 60 miles away from home um so i actually started seeing like Oh, excess, you know, more than enough. You know, at first, you know, I was working um, in human resources for about eight or nine years and I, I made pretty good money, but it was really just enough. You know, I was kind of living paycheck to paycheck. So buying a home was really just to me, just unreachable. Um, but anyway, as I started to make more money, you know, I could, I saw that I could actually start paying off debt. You know, that's one of the main things that you want to do when you get ready to purchase a home. You want to pay off as much debt as possible. Um, you want to get your credit score together. You want to start, if possible, getting pay for deletes, paying off the collections if you have them, getting your credit card balances to zero or some people say 10%, under 30%. You want to, you know, because they look at your debt to income ratio they look at um, how long you've been on your job sometimes they look at all of those things they look at um, whether or not you owe the IRS that's something that I didn't know um, they actually check to see if you have any um, debt with the IRS they look at you know your if you have judgments they look at if you have bankruptcies so if, anyway fast forward to um, April um, well take it back fat, uh, rewind again <laughs> rewind one more time so this year you know last year um i actually started you know kind of paying on my debts um but this year i wanted to actually pay off debts i had a lot of credit card debt um and honestly i was saving money saving money saving money but it really didn't even fully feel like i was making money because i still had debt like i owed people you know my my bills were not behind i was making payments but it was just in the back of my mind i knew that i had these thousands of dollars that i wanted to actually pay off and so you know i thank god you know for just even giving me the mindset so i started to just make goals you know um to pay the bills off not not pay on it not make a minimum payment not even make an extra 50 dollar payment to get that balance to zero now transparent moment y'all i had like eight credit cards eight yes eight e-i-g-h-t and um 
so at any rate i just started paying them off one by one um some say start with the lowest i didn't i just whatever one i felt like paying on a payday i started paying them off paying them off um paying them off until i got to the point where now i have about four left um and as i pay them off now a lot of people say it's not always good to close the um credit cards but i just didn't want to um have that money available you know it, it is um discipline you, you know but you also you know you use wisdom and so i i start paying them off and then i start closing them um now you don't want to close your oldest credit line of course but some of the newer credit cards that I you know I had recently gotten within the last couple of years I just went ahead and paid them off and closed them um paid off um all the uh, collections that I had I, which I only had one um, um now I will say that I did file bankruptcy in 2019 um but that discharged in 2020 so they say that um, you only have to wait two years. This, no, I'm not a professional. I'm just telling you what I've heard and, you know, what even my lender, even with the um, loan officers told me to, to buy a home. So it's been over that. Um, but I filed bankruptcy, um, that discharge. So that helped a lot. Um, but after I got out of bankruptcy, I started getting anybody that has ever filed, you know that once you get out of bankruptcy, surprisingly enough, creditors start giving you all kinds of credit. And every time almost I got an offer for a credit card, I got it. Um, at any rate, let's fast forward. So the beginning of this year, I started getting serious about paying off my debt, which I did. Um, I owed thousands, like over $10,000 worth of debt um, that I just started just throwing money. You know, I would pay my tithes. Yeah, I gave God his 10th every single paycheck, pay my offering, um, pay my bills that I had. I still had to pay rent, lights, gas, water, sewage, still had a car note, still had the phone, um, still pay the minimum payments or sometimes over on the other credit cards that I had. But um, then I would just start paying off bills or what have you. Um, and then also I owed um, some big some big debt. I'm not going to say what it was, but I did. I owed that. Um, and God worked it out to where I didn't have to pay some of that debt. You know, that was taken care of for me. At any rate, in April, um, I looked at my credit um, report and all of my credit card balances were at zero. That's another thing. They took their time. What, this is the strangest thing. So this is a sidebar. So I had paid off the credit cards, right? They took their time uh, reporting it to the credit bureau um, that it was paid off to zero. Now, whenever I would use my credit cards, whenever there was a balance, some strange reason, they didn't take any time at all to update that I had used it. But anyway, that's neither here or there. So I did wait. Um, I waited and waited. I kept checking my um, credit report until they all showed zero balances. Fast forward, um, it's April last month now. Um, I looked at my credit report. All of my credit report, um, credit card balances are showing at zero. The only thing that I have on my credit now is my student loan. So that's still there. Um, it's in Biden's deferment and I'm praying in the name of Jesus, according to God's will, that it, some of it at least will be forgiven y'all but that's again another story um but i have my my um, student loan and then my car that's it that's um on my trans trans union um credit report and so i said okay lord i started praying i said i believe i'm ready like i believe now is the time i okay and also um as i began to pay off um the debt that i had y'all especially them credit cards y'all my credit score was jumping jumping every single time 10 points 20 points uh 30 points it like it was jumping up um to the point where now my credit is um it's 702 like 706 and then i think one of them is 690 something so um the the lender was saying that it's at an average of like seven seven something 701 or 702 or something like that that's the average um, in the 700s that within itself is a blessing so y'all get that debt paid off especially that credit card is amazing um the 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 weight that credit card debt I guess any debt, but especially what my experience was with credit card debt has on your um, credit score. Um, but yeah, so anyway, 
April, I prayed. I said, Lord, I believe I'm ready. Now, I have someone that has been in my in my life. You know, they're not family. They're a friend of the family. They've been going to my church for, you know, forever. Um, there has been a real estate agent for as long as I've known her. <clears throat> She's, you know, quite older than me. Um, and so I didn't know where else to start. I didn't know, should I go to my bank? I belong to a couple of credit unions. Um, should I go to my bank? Should I rocket mortgage quick and long? I didn't know where to start. So, you know, um, I just reached out to her because I felt like, you know, she could at least give me some advice or what have you. So, um, we set up a time, she called me, um, and she said, okay, so you're ready. I said, I think so. I think now is the time I'm making a good amount of money. Um, and although I am a travel nurse, I have not had a, uh, lag in my employment. Um, that's what um, one of the lenders was saying. A lot of times um, they, the, the nurses run into a problem because um, they take off like m a month or two or sometimes three months in between contracts. But there's, not, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, if you have the financial uh, stability or the finances to, to handle um, that much time off of work, wonderful. But normally, which there's always an exception to the rule, normally when it comes time to purchase a home, they want to see um, consistent income. I mean, consistent income, yeah, consistent working, consistent, which in turn equals consistent income. Um, and so um, the blessing for me was that although I've only been working um, a year and six months, roughly, um, I think the longest I probably took off of a job was about two weeks. And that was waiting on another contract to start, maybe three weeks, but never longer than, you know, a month or, or nothing like that. And um, also what helped me, y'all, was prior to me getting my nursing license, I was actually at the same job for almost um, nine, 10 years um, at the same. So working in, and then... Um, after, you know, that job actually was um, ending. So basically, um, we lost our, our contract. We were contracted. We were contracted human resources. It was called an outsourcing company. And so we did human resources for other companies, Boeing, uh, Honda, uh, just different places. Um, and so the contract was ending the one that I was working on. I was working on a Boeing contract. Um, and they probably, they possibly would have put me, they actually had planned to put all of us on another contract. Um, but I, I was just over it. You know, you ever, you know, when you dread, mo a lot of people dread going to work, but you, I mean, it's just, it hurts you to your heart to go to work. You go, you know, I just, I was just over that job. And so I started um, applying elsewhere. I got another job working in the same field, human resources and making $5 more an hour. Um, excuse me, that was August. So August, <clears throat> excuse me, I left the job that I had been working at for about nine, 10 years. I started working, <clears throat> excuse me, at another job where I was making five more dollars an hour. And in the process, I was studying to take my state boards. Um, so August to December, I was working at this new job, same field, took my state boards and passed it. Um, and then I put in my resignation, the, the new boss, she didn't want to, me to leave. She was trying to um, see, you know, okay, what, what, what is there another job? We can match the money, whatever. But I was like, no, I'm going to a completely different field. So anyway, um, reached out to the young lady at my church. Um, she has a preferred lender that she uses. We talked on the phone. She said, okay, um, tell me about your income, whatever, how much are you making? What do you think your credit scores are? And I was telling her, I was like, I looked at um credit karma that's what i was using which we know that is not the 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 best measurement but hey it's free and so and uh, on credit karma my scores are actually showing like 680 and 690 only they only have transunion and equifax <clears throat> she was like okay so your credit scores are probably like um 660 and 670 or something like that she thought it was going to be less because she was like it's not the most accurate platform um she was like but all you need is a 620 um to get a certain amount of loan you actually can get along with a, a lower credit score, but a 620 is good because she was trying to get me into one of the um, uh, Virginia housing, uh, it's VHDA or something like that, some type of loan that um, you can get the loan for zero down payment. Um, you would just have to pay your closing costs. So um, long story short, um, she contacted her lender. Um, they, he emailed me the link. I went ahead and applied. It was with um, Fidelity Mortgage. Um, I applied, he checked my credit. He was like, your credit looks good. You know, actually it looks great. Um, like I said, I only have the student loan at this point. 
and um i have the the bankruptcy um but it's now going on about three years old and then i have my car note all of my credit card balances at zero are at zero um so he ran my credit okay and then he said all right um fill out the information of course you gotta i said to send over my w-2s um i had to send over pay stubs i had to send over my bank statement um all of the addresses and phone numbers to the um employers that i've used over um this last year and a half um and uh, what he was saying was you know because you just actually started travel nursing he was like um, i'm gonna uh, give me send me your so i sent the tax returns for 2022 he was like okay send me the ones for 2021 um because that way even though you were working in two different fields the fact that you had consistent employment uh, we can actually use that so that employment that you had along with the travel nursing um that'll allow you to get more money all right. He was like, um, give me, <clears throat> I did that. He said, okay, give me a couple of days, um, a couple of days passed. Um, and he got back with me. Now I will say this is, I, I, I don't know. I, I, he was taking his time. I don't know. I think, I know that it is a, um, a process. Um, but I just feel like, excuse me, y'all. I feel like that the lenders or the, the loan officers and whomever they should, keep in contact with you. Hey, we're still working on it, especially if, if two or three days, excuse me, y'all, my allergies, if two or three days have gone past, shoot a text or something. But anyway, that's another sidebar. <clears throat> I actually reached out to him. I said, hey, hold on, excuse me one minute. I feel like I got to sneeze. 